Back for more. I know. It's been a while. I've been busy. Life's been pretty hectic lately with my job and everything. I, I'm um, kind of surprised I've been let go because I'm really not trying, but I think um, so my supervisor's really nice. She doesn't want to do anything to me, but I'm actually probably going to have to tell her that my plan is to not sell anything. You know, you have to do what you got to do. We're friends, and I know whatever you got to do, it doesn't matter. It's not, it doesn't affect our friendship, you know. She's just she's so nice. I love her. Anyway, um, yeah, life's been crazy. I've been staying up too late lately, and i got to move soon, and I don't know if i got a place, and uh, just, I don't know. It just kind of seems out of order. It's nice when, you you know, things are set. Like, you know you, where you're coming home to, and, you know, you you got a place to sleep that's warm and comfortable. <laughs> nice. Um, I uh, felt like coming on and not doing a rant, but just telling, uh, just, you know, quick stories, anecdotes. I love jokes and, you know, tall tales and all that stuff. It's all good. I got some friends that are amazing storytellers, like my buddy Earl. It's just a crazy good storyteller. Um, I got a couple that, they're just funny. I, I went to, uh, animation school in, uh, here in New Brunswick, and, uh, I show up, and the guy who runs the place, right, like, I, I take the bus there, I'm a, I'm a, you know, potential customer, so, you know, he picks me up at the Irving, and, and I've never been to, to this town before, it's a machine. I've never been there before, I don't know what's going on, so, uh, he picks me up, he's a real nice guy, his name is, uh, Craig, he's super cool, and, uh, we go to the school, and he's, you know, uh, showing me around Miramichi a little bit, you know, it's a nice little town, it is, I love, it. I want to retire there if I can, it's just such a quaint little town, I just love it, um, so we go to the school, the school's amazing, it's really high tech, uh, it's not the most power, like, best school in the, all of Canada with, that's shared in college, although I don't know what's changed in, like, six or seven years, or eight years since then, but, um, at the time, Sheridan College was the, the place in Canada where Disney looked first, if they looked anywhere. And Miramichi, you know, had some good students and everything, really great teachers, like, some really good technology and stuff, but they just weren't the best of the best of the best. But, I mean, what do you want? It's New Brunswick, right? Like, for New Brunswick standards, you know, it's a phenomenal school. I really enjoyed it. I would have went, too. So this prep course was for a month. You go there, you know, you try it out for a month, and if they like you enough, or if you've come far enough, and you show enough potential, they'll accept you into the school, and I didn't do that well, because I was homesick, and also, I was just a kid, so, I mean, it's hard to do, anyway, Craig's showing me around, and he, uh, brings me into the, uh, into the class, and he's being very professional, right, like, he's, he's a super nice guy, but he just, you know, he wants to, wants to impress me, because he wants, you know, people to come to the school, so, uh, we walk in and starts introducing me to all the animators, and I look around, and, you know, they got the desks are all there, and they have those little attorneys, you know, sell things that they work on, you know, they see through, and you got a lamp so you can flip back and forth, a lot of work. So anyway, he starts introducing me to the animators, and I think the little, the point of this anecdote is animators are nuts, they're so fucking crazy. Gene, who's, like, hilarious, comes up, and he, like, introduces me to, to Craig, Craig introduced me to Gene, and he's like, this is Gene. What does Gene do? goes up and grabs his crotch and says, I just grabbed your biggins. <laughs> Craig has this look like, <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, it's one of my favorite stories. And then, you know, later you get to find out that it's just, it's all fun games. Like, it's, animators are nuts. They have to be, right? Like, uh, it's just... Craig's sitting there, uh, working away, and, you, like, he's in his little rolly chair, and he's sitting there typing away, working on something, and then Gene rolls up behind him and starts, you know, smashing him like he's doing him in the ass, and they both, st they both start moaning. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that was so funny. Oh, that was a good story. Um, I got another one, too. This is, this is another really good one. We're out and about, I think we're at some, um, we have some used clothing store or something. We end up doing the tour, uh, it's not my choice, I don't shop at used clothing stores, not because, um, it's a good, it's always a good to get a deal, and you can get some really good deals in there, I've, I've actually gotten some really good shit, but I just, I usually go to, like, a, like, I go to, like, um, places where there's sales, because then you get new clothes really cheap, like, um, Old Navy's amazing, you get the best clothes there, anyway, so we're, you know, doing the tour, and like I said, we're in some big, one of those big, you know, place with tons of clothes, it's got a little electronic section, it's got a bunch of other stuff, and you, well, you know, all use stuff, right, it's like stuff you'd find at a flea market, you know, and I just don't like the place that much, but anyway, uh, this guy comes up with a shopping cart, right, he's, he's, he's buying, <laughs> he 
I'm gonna laugh every time I tell this story. <laughs> he buys speakers, right? Like he puts them in the in the shopping cart. And they're big old box speakers, like they're huge, pretty big. You know, they're like, you know, three or four feet tall and a foot wide. You know, so he puts them in the shopping cart and he's pushing them along. And you know, lo and behold, there's a little like edge, you know, where the floor comes together, a little metal one. Bumps it, fucking the thing is top heavy. Right, the two speakers just fucking pile out onto the floor and just fucking <laughs> panels go everywhere. Like the speaker, it's like the, the actual component is stuck on the inside of the, so it's all fine. But it just, you know, everyone in the store turns and looks. And this guy just picks it all up and fucking pieces it all back together. <laughs> and then he pushes it towards the, the, you know, the counter to go pay for it and fucking hits another bump. And <laughs> Speaker falls out, fucking panels everywhere. <laughs> they both fall out and just explode all over the floor. And just <laughs> if that was ever usable, like, you know, <laughs> he still bought them. <laughs> and the best part is he goes out into his, like, he has, like, an older, it's like a 90s Rolls Royce or something, some really nice, like, older car, but, like, really nice. So we're just, like, what kind of buy, kind of guy buys, like, $4 speakers at a used clothing store and drives home in a Rolls Royce? So... <laughs> <laughs> you know, we lost track of the guy for a little bit, so we're walking out to the car, and of course, we look over, who do we see? <laughs> I'm pushing the car, <laughs> and then, <laughs> boom, boom, <laughs> speakers fall out and shatter everywhere again. <laughs> oh my god, it's getting too late, I'm getting a little flap happy. Uh, it's so funny to watch this poor guy, like, trying to get these speakers into his car, and just dropping them, and they go, I think that's uh, I think that's enough funny stories for for right now. I'm, I'm sure I got a couple more before I get tired enough to go to sleep.